Sanyong vehicles have long been renowned for their towing ability. With over 60 years of experience of making 4x4 vehicles and with its roots in rugged military vehicles, the current range has the best towing ability ever. With the Rexton and Musso able to tow up to 3,500 kilograms to match the best in their respective classes. Now, no matter the vehicle, towing a load behind it is inevitably going to alter its performance. Stopping distances are going to be increased, cornering will become cumbersome, and manoeuvres are going to require time and a lot of patience and planning. Today, we're going to cover some basic steps in familiarising yourself with how your Sanyong will behave when towing a load. You never know when it's going to come in handy, because these vehicles are made for towing. They're fantastic. One of the hidden dangers that's often overlooked is uh, environmental factors. Now, things like crosswinds can have a massive effect on the vehicle and its load. They are actually your worst enemy. So I'd advise you to pay close attention to the weather forecast. And if it's going to be a very windy day, then put off the towing job until another day. Now, national speed limits apply in the UK, but on motorways, towing vehicles are limited to 60 miles per hour, and they're not allowed to use the right-hand lane now let's talk about braking because you want to avoid braking sharply whenever you can. Make sure that you have plenty of time to be able to react to the environment around you. Now, sharp braking can result in what's known as jackknifing where the trailer is going faster or trying to go faster than the vehicle that's towing it and therefore pushes the rear of the vehicle around and closes it like a jackknife. Now make sure that you reduce your speed before you corner. I'm just coming off here I've got a sharp bend going round to the left now. So I'm making sure that I'm going at the speed that I want to be in when I'm actually taking the corner before I actually hit the corner itself. Now you may have heard of snaking. Now this is when the trailer and its load start to go out of line with the towing vehicle and start to snake from side to side like the tail wagging the dog. And you need to know how to be able to mitigate that circumstance to try and prevent loss of control of the trailer and its load and the vehicle that you're driving as well. So what happens if we find ourselves in a snaking situation? Well, change down a gear and take both of your feet off the pedals to start with. If you're going downhill, try a little bit of light braking, but do not panic and try and brake heavily. It may get you into more trouble. Do not try and accelerate or steer out of a snaking situation because again, you could find yourself in even deeper water than you were in the first place and find yourself very quickly turning it into a jackknife or an overturning situation. Well, thanks for watching. And if you want to see more useful videos, just follow the links.